So uh, today I'm going to uh, unbox this uh, a small uh, K11 by 80. Uh, that's the uh, model and size. Size is 80 millimeters, which is about just over three inches. And the model is K11, which apparently is extremely popular for a three dual chuck from China. It says here, new made in China. I don't know if anybody gets used made in China, but you know, new. Uh, brand is Tian Pai, maybe a little bit, but uh, it seems to be a generic. So uh, let's see. This thing cost me about uh, $63 Canadian, which is roughly uh, uh, 45 American. And uh, let's see. Very tiny second set of jaws. Nicely packaged, actually. Tiny key. Another jaw, two jaws. So I guess uh, tiny mounting screws. But not, so I guess everything is there. And uh, here is the chuck itself. Uh, also nicely packaged. Tiny, but you know, what you expect, three inches. And instruction manual? Uh, or just, just packaging snap? So, uh, anyways, uh, that's uh, part one, and then I will uh, take it apart and see how it looks like on the inside, since uh, you're supposed to. Uh, before I uh, disassemble this, uh, it comes with the uh, standard uh, certificate, which is made by uh, just stamping things, which uh, means that it probably was never inspected other than it looks like it's correct size or something. Uh, what's interesting is uh, that the date here is December 31st, 2019. So it was the last day of uh, last year. Uh, this was the day that the, uh, the virus was uh, making rounds already and uh, I think China reported this to WHO. Uh, so uh, I guess they worked on, uh, on the last day uh, of the year. Uh, I, usually you have that day off or, uh, or most of it, but uh, I guess they worked till the end in China. Uh, as far as smoothness of operation, yeah, it's not the smoothest chuck, uh, but it does move uh, relatively easily. Uh, not, nothing, nothing wrong to, about it. I mean, it feels great actually. Maybe towards the end here is a little bit funny. Uh, all those surfaces here, they're not the board, they're sharp. Uh, this surface is very sharp. It was never touched by fire or anything. It just uh, cut. Uh, the jaws themselves, they're pretty sharp here at the end, but nothing too outrageous. It all looks like it was uh, nicely uh, filed, uh, nicely milled, not filed at all, but milled. This is also sharp here, uh, where the logo is. Uh, I think the logo is replaceable. They put different companies' logo here, depending uh, who ordered this. The back is plastic plate, probably to decrease weight and cost. Um, overall, actually, quality is not bad. I mean, standard Chinese, that means the boring, but it works. It turns round. Uh, all those three guys work. Uh, I mean, we have to point out that for 45 American dollars, this had to be shipped to me. Uh, the Amazon had to be paid. Uh, the guy that's selling this on Amazon had to make profits. So if you subtract that, uh, this gives you a $30 American or so, even less than 30 American to actually uh, arrive at the price for the reseller. Now, obviously this costs money to actually ship to Canada and you know uh, all the processing, uh, which would mean uh, and profit for the for the reseller, which would probably mean that this thing costs between 
maybe 12 and 17 dollars American in bulk in China at, at the port. Which means that given the factory has to make profit, that this thing is actually made for maybe 10 bucks American, maybe less. So given that price, $10, and given that this is about four pounds of steel, uh, this is extremely cheap. Uh, so expectations should be realistic. I mean, it's amazing. This actually looks like a chuck, feels like a chuck, and probably functions like a chuck, given that its production is almost free. I mean, you cannot blame Chinese for not cutting the burrs for $10. So let me take it apart and uh, let's uh, add some uh, oil to it. So the first uh, mini shock is that this actually has in it little but some uh, grease. So I can see uh, the grease here that there is a little bit of grease, I'm going to add some more. Uh, so that's a pleasant surprise. Uh, I don't think there is a need to uh, clean anything in there. I don't see actual anything there that uh, would need uh, to make it even more disassembled and cleaned. It actually looks pretty clean inside. And uh, the jaws themselves, they do show uh, here at the uh, the ends, uh, here the sides that they were like the board ultra fast. I would say it's uneven. There's more the burning on one side than the other. It's you know here it's harder the bore here it's less. Uh, but at least it's there's an attempt of the burning just by hand or I don't know maybe on a on a with some sandpaper powered sandpaper or some hand grinder or something it just doesn't look great uh, but you know at least it's there for the price point it's actually a bonus um, so that's all I mean I'm very happy with uh, what I got for what I paid for so far I have to actually uh, once I install it I see how big of a run out this thing has but uh, so far for what I paid for it uh, it's a great deal you know it's a uh, it's you know, feels like an actual functional chuck that's uh, going to do its job. Um, for the money, you cannot really beat this.